just want to do a quick video. Um, we've been having some cormorants down on this pond recently. I'm just trying to come in now actually as we speak. And uh, I've noticed the fish have tucked really hard into these reeds behind me. And uh, I just wanted to show you just the damage of cormorants really. Um, I've been in with the GoPro, so I've murked up the water a little bit to try to get some GoPro footage of the, uh, of the fish, how tightly packed they are in there. And this is all just due to the cormorant predation. So the cormorants have been on here. Um, obviously cormorants are predominantly a coastal bird really, but they come inland during the winter. You might be able to hear them splashing away behind me. Um, and yeah, they come inland, it's a, it's a much easier meal inland for them. And uh, they're protected birds, so they're getting more and more of a problem. Um, in the past, they've only ever had sort of, you might get one or two down here a winter that might might see occasionally. But this is the first winter where I've seen, uh, yeah, early on, sort of October time, we had half a dozen on, and then uh, the next day a dozen. So uh, there's no wonder that these fish quickly learn to get out of the way. And um, really, I just wanted to point out, because some of, the, some of these match fisheries that stock small fish below a pound, um, if you've got cormorants on, it only takes a few days of a cormorant to being on the water and the fish soon learn to get out of the way and hide and take refuge somewhere where they're happily, you know, well not happily because they'll uh, be stressed hiding from the cormorant, but um, they will sit there all winter. They're not going to come out of there, they're not going to feed, they're going to pick up lots of parasites, the argulus are going to have the fish exactly where they want them, so, uh, and the fish aren't going to move, they're just going to sit there all winter uh, until they feel confident enough in the spring perhaps as it will start to warm up and they'll start to come out again. But um, that's just something to bear in mind if you're a match fishery, a commercial fishery, um, and the bites are pretty crap through the winter maybe, if you've got cormorants on, um, that's the reason. You know, the fish are gonna be hiding well away from the cormorant, just to be safe. And uh, it will stress the other fish out as well, but um, really you only see the, uh, the fish that are the right size of the cormorant, they quickly learn and they'll hide. And you'll see in a minute, I'm gonna go in there with my little dip net and pick out what's in the reeds. They'll be quite easy to grab for me to grab. They're in there real tight and uh, you'll be able to see that they're the perfect size for the cormorant and they know that they're the perfect size for the cormorant and that's why they're in there. So uh, it's worth understanding what stock you've actually got and knowing what's going on with a good survey if, if, before you make any decisions on what fish you're going to stock because yeah, like I say, there's, there's no point putting more fish in if they're just going to go and hide with the others um, and you might not realise that they're actually there. So I'll go in now and see what I can find. And there you have it. You can see how uh, easy that was for me to grab them out of there. If I can do it, the cormorant can. And you know, there's some damage across that one, look. So he's been, uh, had a lucky escape, that one. You can see across his tail there, it's classic of a cormorant. Lovely little fish, but they're the perfect size for the cormorant. And they are stacked in there. And they're, they're not at the front of those reeds, they're right in the last six inches of the water. And you can see this one, got a little sore on the front there. And these are just going to stress in there. You can see the condition of the fins. They're uh, starting to deteriorate. They're getting stressed in the back there. A perfect opportunity for Argulus and Leech to pick them up in there. That's a nightmare. So, um, yeah, hopefully that goes to show just what sort of damage the cormorants can do. Not, not only to the physical condition of the fish when they attack them and uh, when they pinch them, but also what they actually due to the stress of the fish and the condition of them being sat in there and being an easy target to lice and argulus.